Limiter stage 2. Last up, I'm going to insert a second limiter. For this stage, there are some things that I want to avoid. I'll be sure to turn off true peak limiting since this will reduce the impact of the transients, making the track sound less dynamic. Additionally, I'll turn off or reduce any look ahead since this is going to capture the transients more quickly, again, resulting in a less dynamic sound. Interestingly, these two functions make a master cleaner from a technical viewpoint by reducing intersample peaking and distortion to transients respectively, but when listened to, the sound is less transparent. Next, I like to delink my channel's detection. When they're linked, the attenuation occurs to both the left and the right whenever one channel crosses the threshold, but this way, I ultimately cause less attenuation and add some nice variance between the left and the right, making the track more dynamic. Lastly, if it's available, I recommend using a dynamic algorithm. Granted, find the algorithm that you think sounds best, but I found that this one in particular gives the track a more open feel while still getting the final LUFS to a loud level. 